Hi there, welcome back. This time, we will use the fusion tools to create some shooting star effects in DaVinci Resolve. From the effects panel, drag a fusion composition clip to the timeline, change the duration to 2 seconds, and open it in the fusion page. Drag a background node to the editor from the toolbar, connect to the media out node. Change the color to white. With the background node selected, click the ellipse button in the toolbar, an ellipse node is added and connected as the effect mask input of the background node. Set the width to 0 0.001. Modify the height with a simple expression so that it's connected to the width parameter. Now the height value also changes as we change the width parameter. Right-click the center parameter and choose Modify with Vector Result. A vector modifier is added in the Modifiers tab. Change the origin x to 0. Right-click the distance parameter, choose Modify with Anim Curves. Set the curve shape source to duration. Play the clip, we now have a white dot moving from the left to right across the screen. To better see the result, we can disable the checker underlay in the viewer. Right-click the scale parameter and choose expression. Set the simple expression to 1 minus offset. If we change the offset, which is the starting position, this expression will ensure the end position of the dot is always inside the screen. Select the background node, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and add a light ray node to the editor. In the inspector, set the ray direction parameter to add an angle and change the angle to 90. Set the ray drop off to CCD Bloom Soft. Set the length to 0 0.968. Soften to 0. Brightness to 1. Great, now it looks like a star shooting from left to right. Next we will add a glowing effect to the tip of the line. Click the editor background, press shift space. Add a soft glow node to the editor. Branch out the background and connect to the soft glow node. Merge the soft glow output with light ray. Select the soft glow node and go to the inspector. Change the gain to 20. Glow size to 3. Increase the red color scale to 2. Blue scale to 0. This is good. We now have a shooting star with this burning effect as it flies across the screen. To add the capability of changing the shooting direction, we add a transform node after the merge node. The last node we add is the duplicate node, which has lots of controls to adjust the styles of the duplicated images. This is the node that brings the magic to the composition, and most of the parameters used in the macro are from this duplicate node. If you are interested, you can download the template through the link in the description below. Or you can create your own macro with the parameters of your choice. Once the template macro is installed or put into the generators folder, we can simply drag it from the effects panel to the timeline. You can change the clip duration if needed. The animation will adjust automatically to match the new duration. If needed, you can drag the fade control on each side of the clip to add the fade in and out effects. Play around with the parameters in the inspector, we can get some interesting effects.
All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.